narrative for Unit 5, Lesson 5, Stealing Authority, Activity Number 1. Jane and Authority Jane was very obedient to her parents. She understood that her parents were responsible for her and thought they were the only people she should listen to. Today, Jane learned an important lesson. It was time to go to school, and Jane had to leave to catch the bus. Have a wonderful day, yelled Mrs. Montgomery to Jane as she skipped down the stairs. You too, Mommy, replied Jane. She caught the bus just as it pulled up under the large oak tree in front of her house. Hello, Miss Molly, said Jane to the bus driver as she entered the bus and took her seat. Jane really wanted to tell her friends about the fun trip she had with her parents over the weekend. She didn't wait to get off the bus, but instead left her seat and went to the middle of the bus where her two friends sat. Miss Molly saw her from her rear view mirror and said, No walking or standing while the bus is moving. Please sit down. Jane looked up but ignored Miss Molly. After all, Miss Molly was not her parent and she had something important to tell her friends. Suddenly, a cat ran across the street in front of the bus and Miss Molly had to hit the brakes to avoid running over it. Jane was thrown forward and bumped her head on one of the seats before falling to the floor. She wasn't badly hurt, just shaken and dirty. As she left the bus, Miss Molly said to her, I told you that you must be seated while the bus is moving. Jane ignored Miss Molly and left the bus. It didn't take long for Jane to forget her ordeal on the bus. She quickly settled in at class and was looking forward to doing her science project. Today, the class would learn how to create mud volcanoes. Her teacher, Mrs. Davis, asked the students to form a line to go to the science lab. Mrs. Davis told them to wait for her instructions and then follow them carefully. Jane felt that she knew what to do. I saw this on video, and surely I don't need to wait on Mrs. Davis, she thought. Jane proceeded to mix her ingredients for her mud volcano. Suddenly, there was a funny noise coming from Jane's volcano. The class turned to look. The noise grew louder and louder. Then, suddenly, the volcano exploded. And there was mud all over Jane and her desk. The students began to laugh. They were not trying to be mean, but the sight of Jane standing there, all covered with mud from head to toe, looked funny. Jane was embarrassed. She ran out of the class and into the restroom, crying all the way. Oh, what a terrible day! She sniffed. Mrs. Davis gave Jane a few minutes and then went into the restroom to see her. She said softly, I told everyone to wait for my instructions. You didn't listen. After you are done cleaning yourself up, please go back to the lab and clean up the mess. I'm sorry this occurred, Jane cried, looking up at Mrs. Davis through teary eyes. Jane was glad when school was over. She was such a mess that the principal called her parents to get her. Her parents were still at work, so instead they sent the babysitter, Michelle, 
to pick up Jane and stay with her until they got home. Jane was delighted that she didn't have to ride the bus home all dirty and damp. At home, Jane soon settled down. She just wanted to forget today's events. She was also looking forward to the cookies Michelle promised to make for her. Michelle went to her car and got the special ingredients to make the cookies. She told Jane, These are special cookies. They are not like the regular ones we make, so we can't open the oven while they are baking. Jane nodded and went upstairs to do her homework, while Michelle helped with other chores around the house. The smell of the cookies reached Jane's room. She went downstairs and made her way into the kitchen. Oh, those cookies sure do smell great. I wonder what they look like, Jane thought. This is my kitchen, and it's my oven. I have a right to look inside. With that thought, Jane opened the oven to look at the cookies. The cookies were puffy, but as soon as she opened the oven, they began began to sink. At that very moment, Michelle walked in. What are you doing? You've ruined the cookies, Michelle said in a very disappointed voice. Well, because you have done this, we'll not have any cookies. Jane was very disappointed and spent the rest of the evening in her room. When Mrs. Montgomery arrived home, Michelle told her about the evening. She went upstairs to her daughter's room and knocked on the door. Come on in, said Jane in a soft voice. Mrs. Montgomery sat on Jane's bed and hugged her while Jane explained what had occurred. Oh, Mom, it was the worst day ever. Jane then told her mother all that occurred from the moment she got on the bus until the incident with the cookies. Well, it sounds as if you've learned a very important lesson, said Mrs. Montgomery. What do you mean, Mommy? asked Jane. Jane, you obey your father and me, which is great. But when we are not with you, it's important that you show respect by obeying those who are responsible for you. Follow their rules, as long as it doesn't bring harm to you or others. Mrs. Montgomery continued. Miss Molly is responsible for your safety on the bus. You must obey her instructions. Mrs. Davis, your teacher, is responsible for you while you're in her classroom. You must listen to her and follow her rules. Michelle, our babysitter, is responsible for you at home when we're away. You must also listen to her and follow the instructions she gives you. Jane thought carefully on what her mother told her. Now I understand. Oh, Mommy, I do. If I had listened to these people and followed their rules, I wouldn't have fallen on the bus, caused my mud volcano to explode, and missed out on delicious cookies. Jane sobbed. That's right, honey. And I don't think you will ever have another day like today, as long as you remember what you've learned, said Mrs. Montgomery. <laughs>